I think we've never wanted to live in a sort of the kind of terrace where you can sort of predict what the interior will be like. We were looking at much more modernist sort of 20th century places actually. We had this dream, didn't we, of having a place in the country and a place in the city. We saw this and we suddenly thought, actually, this really feels quite quite rural. It's funny, it's down in South East London, obviously, but there's something about the sort of feel of the cottage that made us feel like we were almost getting both. And it's just the two of us. So we thought, why do we need another bedroom to dust? And so we really just wanted to keep it to its cleanness and the sense that it's a small, single-storey cottage. And that was about time, and it was about getting to love the house as an occupant before we did the work. I liked the fact that we kept the old floorboards. They weren't that special, but they're scuffed. People are living in it, and we get mm. chips on things. And that's nice. I think that's the, the nature of a house. It should feel lived in. It was built in about 1860, the very front of the house. There is quirk. It was not really a house. It was probably either a pigsty or a gardener's hut. I can actually see that there is a progression even in, in my work. I think they probably are moving a slightly away from that more modern feeling, maybe things feeling a little bit more vernacular, a little bit sort of softer, I guess, a little bit less strident. I'd also just moved studio and I had taken apart my enormous huge loom. And I thought, I know what this house needs. It's a Japanese idea, it's called a noren, a sort of door curtain. When you're inside, you don't feel as though you're looking out through to the street. It was a really nice feeling of making something for this house that I wove my, myself mm. by hand. There was a huge interest when we moved in, in kind of, well, what are you going to do with it? We suddenly felt as though we were slightly custodians for this. We went through a long process of looking how we might develop it. Do we add another floor onto the building? And we had a whole different set of drawings that we thought we were going to develop. Then we just stopped and we thought, we don't think this is the right way to approach it. We should try and keep some of the real elements of what this house was. When you have to architecture light space, you also have to make sure that you've got acceptable levels for regulations. Whereas in your own house, you can be softer and you can be quieter and you can also enjoy aspects of darkness. I think a house though is never a finished deal. I think it's always a bit peculiar when you have a, a place and it's like, well, this is our house and this is how perfect it is. Having a garden, actually, that has been an amazing thing and sort of life affirming to, to be, you know, throwing some seeds at things and watching, watching it come <laughs> up. This house will last us a long time, which is a, mm, yeah. a nice feeling. We, you know, we're not people who move house very often, so it does feel as though it will fit with our lives for many years to come, I think. Mm.